Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. So what you're going to notice here is we're in front of my PC laptop and I'm actually running a 2K resolution on a 1080p only screened laptop. How is this possible? Generally you would have a program um, within your computer depending on you know what kind of money you've spent into a computer. This is a gaming laptop so chick ching baby. Okay, so high performance laptop. And uh, I have an HDMI port on this thing, but I'm not using it. Though this will work on the HDMI as well, okay? Um, I have a Thunderbolt port that is also capable for display. So I can actually hook two displays up to this thing, which is kind of cool. But um, anyways, so I am using the Thunderbolt port with a display adapter that goes from the uh, display port connection, which is Type-C, same as your Thunderbolt, same as your Type-C ports, right? And it's going through a converter that converts that signal over to a display port cable because my 32 inch screen only has one HDMI and one display port and my Mac is built in HDMI only. However, I do have Thunderbolt, I could do this as well, but uh, I would rather just use the HDMI port. Now on my Mac side, my Mac can actually run my LG display at either 2K, 4K, pretty much anything I want, okay? Just at a push of a, a button or a click of a mouse, basically, right? Now, on the laptop, though, I am actually stuck, no matter what, there's not even a fake overlay kind of program in my computer that would allow my internal screen to even go to a 2K resolution, right? And it's like, well, that kind of really can suck, right? Because you want to play a game in a higher resolution, you can't. It's 1080p, it's built in that way, and that's it. However, there's some hope here. Um, if you are like me and you have another computer and you've got a high-end display on it, which is 2K or higher, um, you can easily attain, for sure, at least I know on the PC side, 2K resolution off of my current laptop, which is an Asus Tough 17. Now, even though these came out in 2021, mine was made in 2022, so it really makes no difference. However, um, it does have a 4 gig uh, video card in this, which is, um, I believe this one's NVIDIA powered. Um, anyways, um, just trying to think. I'm pretty sure I've got NVIDIA in this thing. Yes, I have NVIDIA. Uh, sorry guys, I'm just, I'm half awake. It's only like well, it's almost 7 o'clock in the morning, but I've been up since 5.30. Anyhow, so um, it's a 144 hertz display, which is great. That's built in. Um, and uh, But it's 1080p only. But I thought, oh, you know, so I plug this thing in. And all of a sudden, it's like, boom, hey, I got 2K. Like, what's up? So I'm going to show that to you. If you go into your display settings here, you will see that you have a 2K setting now. Now, if I unplug this display cable everything reverts back to 1920 by 1080 and I lose my 2K thing. Now, right now my Mac is turned on and I'm actually on my Macintosh screen. Let me just flip my mouse here. I have one mouse and keyboard that shares this thing. So there's my Mac there running its display, right? Now I can switch over to this to display port, which is where my PC is. And of course we get a blank screen. So we have to plug the cable back in to the laptop. And the laptop is going to switch things back over for us. So boom, 1080p there. Oh, boom, all of a sudden 2K now. So now we have 2K showing up for our laptop. And of course I've mirrored the displays too. Uh, this way I get the same picture on each. Because what I'll do is I'll... You know, if I want to play some video games, I'm going to play them on my big screen and I leave my laptop actually closed uh, once I've got everything up and running. And uh, so I close my display and then I've got just my 32 inch display running. I can play my video game without going bonkers looking at two screens at the same time with the exact same thing. So anyway, <coughs> it's great to be able to multitask between screens, which is fabulous, right? Everybody kind of would want to have that sort of capability. We love it. Um, but yeah, so now we're on course 2K. So if I flip back over to my Mac screen, which is on the HDMI port, there's my Mac again. My PC does not get interrupted. But if I unplug 
either the adapter, which is in my Thunderbolt port, giving my, me my display. Now I do have HDMI, but remember, I only have one HDMI port, one display port on this screen. So it's kind of like, ah, you know? Um, but either way, who cares? I can use my Thunderbolt port and it puts out video, so we're good. Um, but we're back, we're, we're still at that 2K level. We can still just use two computers at the exact same time and have 2K on the PC. And if I want to run 2K on my Mac, I run 2K on my Mac. If I want to run my display in 4K on my Mac, my display will run in 4K on my Mac at the same time not messing with this thing. So that's kind of a neat little thing. Try this out even if you have a lower end laptop. This is a gaming laptop system, so it's a lot more powerful, more expensive laptop. But if you do have any laptop with an HDMI port, um, get yourself a 2K screen or even a 4K and see how far you can push things, right? But your internal display should show the exact same resolution as what your external display is going to be capable of doing with it, right? In this case, the PC side, my display port can go to 2K. My HDMI port also only supports up to a 2K screen. It cannot go to the 4K level. It doesn't do that with this one, okay? My PC tower that I last had, um, that thing I could do 2K, 4K, I could use the overlay program and fake it, or I could just flick over to it natively and it would support no matter what. I was fine that way. Um, but in this case, this is what we've got. It works and it's nice having even the 2K on the 1080p display for just even doing regular things. If I want to do some video editing on my laptop, which I've actually done and thoroughly disappointed that, you know, um, <laughs> my Mac eats it for breakfast. It wipes the floor with this thing. It's just horrible that the the M1s are so powerful. They just, th they eat this monster for, for breakfast. But yet this monster eats the Mac M1s and M2s for breakfast when it comes to gaming. But video editing definitely is something that, yeah, uh, the Mac is going to be superior on over the PC. But, um... When it comes to doing this sort of thing, I like it because I can play Far Cry in 2K. And uh, let me just fire that up for you too. Okay, you can see here we are still on our Mac display. We have not changed that. So we're going to fire up Far Cry and uh, get that thing to, to go. And we'll shoot that into uh, our 2K resolution here. It should just automatically pop into it because I last played it that way. So advanced options and uh, basic all the way and I select 2K and we hit apply and we are at 2K on Far Cry while still having our Mac side doing its thing. So what's happening here, what I'm going to tell you is the the picture is actually hiding in the background is what's going on here okay so as long as my display is on it kind of hides it in the background like that now here here's the curious question what if we shut off the display on the mac side which also shuts it off on the pc side so power off what happens now And it's looking like we've lost our display picture. So let's turn our screen back on. Displays back up. Okay. So let's quit the game. Let's turn the display back off again. Power off. Now, it reverts right back to 1920. So, you kill the power on your screen or you unplug it from the computer, you revert back to whatever your native resolution is of your laptop. That's all there is to it, okay? So, and then as soon as we turn the screen back on, which I only want the Mac side on currently, so we'll see it boot up, there's the Mac side, and look what's happened here. Boom, we're back at 2K again. Anyway. That's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, but I wanted to show you the ins and outs of this and how it works. Uh, otherwise, I could have done this video in probably like two minutes flat, but I wanted to show you what actually takes place in each scenario. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.